the poesy of skalds section forty two why is gold called frodi's meal this is the tale thereof one of odin's sons named skjuldur from whom the skjuldungs are come had his abode and ruled in the realm which now is called denmark but then was known as gotland skjuldur's son who ruled the land after him was named fridleifr fridleifr's son was frodi he succeeded to the kingdom after his father in the time when augustus caesar imposed peace on all the world at that time christ was born but because frodi was mightiest of all kings in the northern lands the peace was called by his name wherever the danish tongue was spoken and men call it the peace of frodi no man injured any other even though he met face to face his father's slayer or his brother's loose or bound neither was there any thief nor robber then so that a gold ring lay long on Jalangr's heath king frodi went to a feast in sweden at the court of the king who was called fjolnir and there he bought two maid-servants fenja and menja they were huge and strong in that time two millstones were found in denmark so great that no one was so strong that he could turn them the nature of the mill was such that whatsoever he who turned asked for was ground out by the millstones this mill was called groti he who gave king frodi the mill was named hengikuper king frodi had the maidservants led to the mill and bade them grind gold and they did so first they ground gold and peace and happiness for frodi then he would grant them rest or sleep no longer than the cuckoo held its peace or a song might be sung it is said that they sang the song which is called the lay of groti and this is its beginning now are we come to the king's house the two foreknowing fenja and menja these are with frodi son of fridleifr the mighty maidens as maid thralls held and before they ceased their singing they ground out a host against frodi so that the sea king called mizingr came there that same night and slew frodi taking much plunder then the peace of frodi was ended mizingr took groti with him and fenja and menja also and bade them grind salt and at midnight they asked whether mizingr would not weary of salt he bade them grind longer they had ground but a little while when down sank the ship and from that time there has been a whirlpool in the sea where the water falls through the hole in the millstone it was then that the sea became salt the lay of groti they to the flour mill were led those maidens and bidden tirelessly to turn the grey millstone he promised to neither peace nor surcease till he had heard the handmaid singing they chanted the song of the ceaseless millstone lay we the bins right lift we the stones he urged the maidens to grind on ever they sung and slung the whirling stone till the men of frodi for the most part slept then spake menya to the mill coming wealth grind we for frodi we grind it in plenty fullness of fee at the mill of fortune let him sit on riches and sleep on down let him wake and wheel then well tis ground here may no one harm another contrive evil nor cast wiles for slaying nor slaughter any with sword well sharpened though his brother's slayer in bonds he find but he spake no word save only this sleep ye no longer than the whole cuckoo's silence nor longer than so while one song is sung thou wast not frodi full in wisdom thou friend of men when thou boughtest the maidens didst choose for strength and outward seeming but of their kindred didst not inquire hardy was hrungnir and his father yet was tiazi than they more mighty edi and aurnir of us twain are kinsmen brothers of hill giants of them were we born groti had not come from the grey mountain nor the hard boulder from the earth's bosom nor thus would grind the hill giant's maiden if any had known the news of her we nine winters were playmates together mighty of stature neath the earth's surface the maids had part in mighty works ourselves we moved mighty rocks from their place we rolled the rock o'er the giant's roofstead 
so that the ground quaking gave before us so slung we the whirling stone the mighty boulder till men took it and soon after in sweden's realm we twain foreknowing strode to the fighting bears we hunted and shields we broke we strode through the grey mailed spear host we cast down a king we crowned another to goat hormer good we gave assistance no quiet was there ere canoe fell this course we held those years continuous that we were known for warriors mighty there with sharp spears wounds we scored let blood from wounds and reddened the brand now are we come to the king's abode of mercy bereft and held as bondmaids clay eats our foot soles cold chills us above we turn the peace grinder tis gloomy at frodi's hands must rest the stone must halt enough have i turned my toil ceases now may the hands have no remission till frodi hold the meal ground fully the hand should hold the hard shafts the weapons gore stained wake thou frodi wake thou frodi if thou wouldst hearken to the songs of us twain and to ancient stories fire i see burning east of the burg war tidings waken a beacon of warning a host shall come hither with swiftness and fire the dwellings above king frodi thou shalt not hold the stead of hleider the red gold rings nor the god's holy altar we grasp the handle maiden more hardly we were not warmer in the wound gore of corpses my father's maid mightily ground for she saw the fayness of men full many the sturdy posts from the flower box started made staunch with iron grind we yet swifter grind we yet swifter the son of irsa half donner's kinsman shall come with vengeance on frodi's head him shall men call irsa's son and brother we both know that the maidens ground their might they tested young and fresh in giant frenzy the bin poles trembled and burst the flower box in sunder burst the heavy boulder and the sturdy bride of hill giant spake we have ground o frodi soon we cease from grinding the women have laboured o'er long at the grist thus sang einar skulason i have heard that frodi's handmaids ground in the mill full gladly the serpent's couch with gold meal the king lets peace be broken the fair cheeks of my axe head fitted with maple show forth fenya's grist exalted is the skald with the good king's riches so sang egil glad are full many men in frodi's meal section forty three why is gold called kraki's seed in denmark there was a king called hrolfr kraki he was most renowned of all ancient kings for munificence valor and graciousness one evidence of his graciousness which is often brought into stories is this a little lad and poor vugr by name came into the hall of king hrufr at that time the king was young and of slender stature vugr came into his presence and looked up at him and the king said what wouldst thou say lad for thou lookest at me vugr answered when i was at home i heard say that hrufr the king at hleider was the greatest man in the northern lands but now there sitteth in the high seat a little pole and he is called king then the king made answer thou boy hast given me a name so that i shall be called hrolfr the pole kraki and it is the custom that the giving of a name be accompanied by a gift now i see that with the name which thou hast fastened on me thou hast no gift such as would be acceptable to me wherefore he that has wherewith to give shall give to the other and he took from his hand a gold ring and gave it to him then vugr said above all kings be thou most blessed of givers now i swear an oath that i shall be that man's slayer who slays thee then spake the king laughing loudly vugr is pleased with a small thing another example is the tale told concerning the valor of hrofr kraki that king whom men call adils ruled over upsala he had to wife irsa mother of hrufr kraki he was at strife with the king who ruled over norway whose name was ali 
the two joined battle on the ice of the lake called Vaeni. King Adils sent an embassy to Hrolfr Kraki, his stepson, praying him to come to his aid, and promised wages to all his host so long as they should be away. King Hrolfr himself should have three precious gifts, whatsoever three he might choose from all Sweden. King Hrolfr could not make the journey in person, owing to the strife in which he was engaged with the Saxons. But he sent to Adils his twelve berserks, Budvar Bjarki was there for one, and Hjalti the stout-hearted, Fitzerker the stern, Vutur Vesedi, and the brethren Svipdagr and Baigudr. In that battle King Ali fell, and the great part of his host with him, and King Adils took from him in death the helm battle-swine and his horse raven. Then the berserks of Hrofer Kraki demanded for their hire three pounds of gold for each man of them, and in addition they required that they might bear to Hrolfr Kraki those gifts of price which they had chosen for him, which were the helm battle boar and the burny Finn's heritage, on neither of which iron would take hold, and the gold ring, which was called Pig of the Swedes, which Adil's forefathers had had. But the king denied them all these things, nor did he so much as pay their hire. The berserks went away ill-pleased with their share, and told the state of things to Hrolfr Kraki. Straightway he began his journey to Uppsala, and when he had brought his ships into the river Firi, he rode at once to Uppsala and his twelve berserks with him, all without safe conduct. Irsa, his mother, welcomed him and led him to lodgings, but not to the king's hall. Fires were made there before them, and ale was given them to drink. Then men of King Adils came in and heaped firewood onto the fire, and made it so great that the clothes were burnt off Hrolfr and his men. And the fellow spake, Is it true that Hrolfr Kraki and his berserks shun neither fire nor iron? Then Hrolfr Kraki leapt up, and all they that were with him, and he said, Add we to the fire in Adil's dwelling, took his shield and cast it onto the fire, and leapt over the flames while the shield burnt and he spake again, He flees not the flames who o'er the fire leapeth. Even so did his men one after another, and they laid hands on those fellows who had heaped by the fire, and cast them into the flames. Then Irsa came and gave Hrolfr Kraki a deer's horn full of gold, the ring pig of the Swedes being with the gold, and she bade them ride away to the host. They vaulted onto their horses, and rode down into the plain of the Fury, and soon they saw King Adils riding after them, with his host all in armor, hoping to slay them. Then Hrolfr Kraki plunged his right hand down into the horn, grasped the gold, and strewed it all about the road. When the Swedes saw that, they leapt down out of their saddles, and each took up as much as he could lay hold of. But King Adils bade them ride on, and himself rode furiously. His horse was called Slungvir, swiftest of all horses. Then Hrulfr Kraki saw that King Adils was drawing close up to him, took the ring, pig of the Swedes, and threw it toward him, and bade him receive it as a gift. King Adils rode at the ring, and thrust at it with his spear-point, and let it slide down over the shaft's socket. Then Hrulfr Kraki turned back and saw how he bent down and spake, now I have made him who is mightiest of Swedes stoop as a swine stoops. Thus they parted. For this cause gold is called seed of Kraki, or of Fyri's plain. Thus sang I Vinder, skald despoiler. God of the blade of battle, we bear through Hakon's life days the seed of Fyri's valley on our arms, where sits the falcon. Even as Tildofer sang, the king sows the bright seed-corn of knuckle-splendid gold rings, with the crop of Irsa's offspring in his company's glad hand-grasp, the guileless land-director with Crocky's gleaming barley sprinkles my arms, the flesh-grown seat of the hooded falcon. Section 44 It is said that the king called Hulgi, from whom Halogaland is named, was the father of Torgerdor, Holga Bruder. Sacrifice was made to both of them, 
and a cairn was raised over hulgi one layer of gold or silver that was the sacrificial money and another layer of mould and stones thus sang skuli thorsteinsson when i redden reifnir's roofbane the ravening sword for wealth's sake at svoldr i heaped with gold rings warlike hulgi's cairn thatch in the ancient bjarkamal many terms for gold are told it says there the king most gift gracious his guardsmen enriched with fenya's labor with fafnir's midgard glasir's bright needles grani's fair burden draupnir's dear dripping down of grafvitnir the free-handed lord gave the heroes accepted sif's firm-grown tresses ice of the bow force otter guild unwilling weeping of mardul fire flame of orun Edi's fine speeches the warrior rejoiced we walked in fair garments in tiazi's councils the people's host countless in the rhine's red metal wrangling of niflungs the leader war daring warded balder not section forty five gold is metaphorically termed fire of the hand or of the limb or of the leg because it is red but silver is called snow or ice or hoarfrost because it is white in like manner gold or silver may be paraphrased in metaphors of purse or crucible or lather and both silver and gold may be called handstone or necklace of any man who was wont to have a necklace necklaces and rings are both silver and gold if no other distinction is raised as torleikr the fair sang the kindly prince the load casts of crucibles on the hawk seats of thanes the wrists embellished gives embers of the arm joint and as einar tinkling scale sang the land strong king of lund breaks the golden limb brands i think the prince of warriors lacks not the rhine's bright pebbles thus sang einar skulason the purse snow and the sea fire lie on both sides of the axe head blood spilling tis my office to praise our foeman's scather and as he sang further the sea glow each day standeth o'er the crucible's white snowdrift and the shield ship's cheeks protecting shelters a heart most lavish ne'er can one melt the silver flagon snow in the fire flame of the eel's stream road the feller of hosts all feats performeth here gold is called fire of the eel's stream road and silver snow of flagons thus sang tordor miri's skald the glad giver of the hand waist of the gold minisher perceiveth that the hermuder of the snake's lair hath had a lordly father section forty six man is called breaker of gold even as otar the swarthy sang i needs must use the breaker of the battle glow of good men here is the watch war doughty of the wise king assembled or gold sender as einar tinkling scale sang the sender of gold permitteth the silent earth to hearken to song his gifts i gather the prince his young men gladdens gold caster as torleikr sang gold caster makes loyal to him his guard with kingly armor gold's adversary as sang torvaldr blending skald the gold's foe hot coals casteth of the arm the king gives red wealth the vile folk's desolator dispenseth the freight of grani gold towerer as is written here the gold towerer in friendship i got and of the warrior son of the glowing war blade i make a song of praise woman is paraphrased in metaphors of gold being called willow or giver of gold as hallerstein sang he who casts the amber of vidblindi's boars cool salt drink long will recall the willow of the reed snake's golden river here the whale is called boar of vidblindi this vidblindi was a giant who drew whales out of the sea like fishes the drink of whales is the sea amber of the sea is gold woman is the willow or dealer of that gold which she gives and the willow is a tree therefore as is already shown 
woman is periphrased with all manner of feminine tree names she is also called user of that which she gives and the word for user also signifies a log the tree which falls in the forest thus sang gunnlaugr's serpent's tongue that dame was born to stir strife among the sons of menfolk the war bush caused that madly i yearned to have the wealth log woman is called forest so sang hallerstein with a well-trained plane of singing the tongue i have planed my lady dame of the first song's ale vats forest fair of flagons faggot as stein sang thou shalt o fresh sift tender of the flood's gold fire like other faggots of hjadning's gravel break with thy good fortune prop as ormer stein torsen sang the prop of stone was clothed in garments clean and seemly a new cloak did the hero cast over the mead's bright valkyr post as steinar sang all my dreams of the gracious goddess of the bracelet girded soft arms have lied to me the stream moon's unsteadfast prop beguiled me birch as ormer sang for a mark of the birch of the bright hollow ring the palm flame i laid on the dwarf flag in my song oak even as stands here the fair-shaped oak of riches stands our mirth forestalling linden even as is written here o dreadful towering elm tree of the dinning shower of weapons our courage shall not lessen so bade the linen's linden man is paraphrased in tree metaphors as we have written before he is called rowan or tester of weapons or of combats of expeditions and of deeds of ships and of all that which he wields and tests thus sang ulfr ugesson but the flashing-eyed stiff edge rope of the earth stared past the gunwale at the rowan tree of the people of stone the giant tester tree and beam as kormakr sang the beam of the murdering sword twig is taller than our many in the din of darts the sword wins the land for dauntless sigurdr grove as sang halfredr troublous scald the mighty grove and faithful of the shield murderer budded with hair stands in the eastlands safe with ullr's ash warriors here he is also called ash box as arner sang the box of ships bade the rigir bring the shields together at early dusk through the spear rain of strife clouds held the autumn night ash as refer sang the strife lord gracious giver sought the maid's bed gold sprinkled the ash of odin's war sleet won the estate of manhood maple as here hail maple of the ice lumps of the hand so spake the burney tree as refer sang since i have appointed to proffer odin's breast sea the war god's verse to torstein the tree of swords so wills it staff as otar sang thou fierce war staff maintainest maugre two kings thy borders with heroes kin where the ravens starved not keen-hearted art thou thorn as arnor sang he gathered the young wealth thorn many great heaps of corpses for the eagles and his henchmen guided and helped the hero end of section forty six recording by expatriate in bangor maine